What is good, YouTube? Today is the day. The garage sale trail weekend is happening. I'm gonna go out, check them all out, well, as much as I possibly can, then I'm also gonna hit some thrift shops. So uh, come along for this journey, and let's just see what we can find. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first garage sale is right there. It's raining. Uh, judging by this rain, I'll check this out. I might have to just check out some op shops, uh, which I'll just do a massive op shop run. See how these guys go, and I'll do some more research on some of the other garage sales close by and see if they're indoors. So, Well, it was a bust. Um, she does have more books um, upstairs, and she has a couple of engineering books as well. Um, so pretty much what's going to happen is I'm going to go check out some more and do some op shopping in the afternoon. I'll shoot her a message and go back there. Um, and see if I can make an offer because obviously if it's late in the afternoon she wants it all gone um, I can make an offer. I did purchase one thing though. It's uh, May your life seem as good um, on Facebook um, Sorry, may your life uh, be as good as it seems on Facebook. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny uh, She asked for 15. She didn't get it. She got it for uh, 10 um, But you know, I'm gonna hang that that's that's mine. So that's a uh, a ten dollar purchase for myself so uh, let's go check out some more and uh hopefully this weather it's raining which really sucks so that's going to deter a lot of people i'm thinking maybe i should just go op shopping uh, but i'm going to have a look around and see what else i can find garage sale number two hopefully they haven't sold any of the good stuff yet judging by this weather hopefully it scares a lot of people away that one was a lot better spent a total of 15 dollars at that garage sale picked up a playstation 2 remote also this uh texas ti um, 84 plus calculator just needs new batteries and the real score Spyros PlayStation 2 the discs are in great condition so 15 bucks for those four items there All right guys now there's a big community garage sale at this uh, big church here just up there so we're gonna suss it out there's a I think they said 25 stalls um, it, they started at 7 o'clock, it's currently 10.30ish, uh, so what we'll do here is go in there because, you know, people miss things all the time, um, hopefully everything, all the good stuff's not gone, uh, but who knows, we'll suss it out, see what we could possibly find, and then we'll go from there. She was a bust, that's okay. Now I'm going to go to my church, the uh, old church I used to go to, uh, because I haven't been there in a very long time, and they do close at 2.30. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be hitting op shops now, guys, uh, because I know I've got a decent amount of money left to spend, and I haven't been to the south side in a while, um, and it'd be good just to visit um, all the old shops I used to go to, and hopefully uh, they've restocked. Uh, so I, I really want to spend this 300 today. You know, I, I don't want to carry it around in my pocket anymore. It's, it scares me sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to get robbed. The old faithful salvos. This place has made me a lot of money. Let's see. It's been a while since I've been here. So, uh, oh, they can't accept books. Interesting. I'll have a look at the books then. The church. I haven't been to this place in a very long time. Miss the ladies here. Hopefully they still remember me. It's only been a few weeks, but all people forget things. Yes. Well. This sucks. Well, the weather just took a turn for the worse. It's bucketing down, but the church delivered. Wow. Guys, um, just wait to the end of the video and that when I go home and show you guys what I found. I think that's gonna be me. All the garage sales will probably close down because a lot of them were outside. Um, it was a bit of a failure. But it was great to go out, but this church, oh man, I've got a garbage bag. I spent 50 bucks. Um, items were around $5 each, to give you an idea. Um, yeah, just yeah, just wait. This is, this is nuts. All right, guys, we're now back home after that epic fail of a garage sale hunting. Obviously, with the weather, it's completely out of our control, so we've got to do the best we can with what we've got. 
Now, in saying that, the weather did get a lot better later on, but I was happy with what I got for the day, um, and I was feeling a little under the weather, so I decided to just stay home. Um, and I could have gone out today, but you know, I still wasn't 100%, so I decided, you know, I'll just stay home. But I'm still quite happy with what I found at the op shop and you know the items that I found at that one garage sale. So I'm just gonna run through everything that I've uh, purchased. First I'll go through the garage sale stuff, which you would have seen um, at the uh, video, the start of the video, but I'll also go through this uh, garbage bag full of uh, amazing items that I picked up at the church op shop. And as you know, I picked up this uh, TI-84 Plus uh, Texas calculator. Um, also picked up this PlayStation 2 remote control. Now I will have to put the batteries and change the batteries in this Texas one here to uh, see if it works because the batteries are dead uh, because they haven't used it in eight years. Um, so I'll check the, the product to make sure it actually works. Uh, but you know, 15 bucks, I paid 15 bucks for those two and the two Spyro games, which for me, um, you know, these Spyro games are absolutely mental at the moment. The discs are in great condition. I'll bundle these two uh, together um, and sell them as a lot, which would easily pay for everything here if these end up being a bust. Now, this is a chance I'm willing to take. I reckon it's going to work absolutely fine. Uh, the lovely ladies, they were from Townsville as well, so, you know, it was great to have a chat to people from my hometown. Um, but, you know, if this works, we're looking anywhere between 30 to maybe 45 bucks uh, for the calculator, which is a sweet deal to sell those. Uh, picked up the R.M. Williams uh, pants, better you know get that out of the way first. Completely forgot I went to that Salvo's Red Hill. Um, they did have a couple of uh, vintage Star Trek uh, figurines, and they were selling them for about ten to fifteen dollars uh, in the box. But the condition of the box is the reason I didn't pick them up. Uh, it comes from they were going anywhere between forty and fifty bucks, but the boxes were in way better condition compared to the ones that the Salvation Army had. Uh, so I decided to leave them aside. Then I went to the church op shop that I used to live close to um, and picked up a whole bunch of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through, um, pull them out one at a time and show you guys this amazing, um, amazing bag of garbage because it's in a garbage bag. So uh, first item, which is what you've seen in the video, is this cool pair of pants. Now I have sold Whenever I grab these, I sell them within a few days, a few weeks, um, a month. Uh, but they, this brand, Cool, sells like crazy. And they're just a great quality brand. Uh, so once I saw, because I saw the logo, and once I saw that logo, I was like, no way. Um, and I picked them up straight away, so I was very happy with that find there. I can actually probably sell these pants anywhere between 60 to $80. So, and I paid, what, five bucks for them? So five bucks into 60 or 80, that's an easy profit. And that'll pay for pretty much everything because I spent 50 bucks, give or take. Um, next item is a pair of Levi's. These Levi's jeans here. Uh, now these guys, they're eight bucks. So they priced them up a little high, but you know, $8 is nothing compared to what I'm willing to pay uh, for jeans. You know, $15 is probably the max uh, for used uh, because I know I could still make a profit on those jeans and denim sells all year round. So, you know, these Levi's jeans, I will pop them up in the store. Hopefully all the item specifics go okay um, and eBay doesn't screw us around with the glitches and I should be able to sell those quite quickly within about a few weeks or maybe a month. Now, the next item from here, this one here is a Scotch and Soda uh, men's shirt, long sleeve dress shirt. Now, Scotch and Soda, those of you who don't know, is a very expensive brand, uh, very high. If you walk into a Scotch and Soda shop, you'll be absolutely blown away with, um, with their prices. But I don't know, there's something about these shirts, which is, it's just fun. It's hip, um, you know, the hipsters are all in there. But, you know, if you look around the shirt, you'll find like small little details, which just make the shirt a really great shirt. So I'm not too sure on the price of this long sleeve. Um, Shirts and polos, I usually sell around the $40, $50 mark any day. This bad boy here, I might price it around the $60, $70 range. Um, honestly, I'll probably post it around the um, $65 in between and I'll sell it, no dramas at all. Uh, also picked up another Scotch and Soda shirt. 
Now this is the polo. So this is a green polo. It's got some little like jaggedy sort of design. You've got the Scotch and Soda uh, embroidered logo there. Uh, this was a size large, so it is my size, but at the end of the day, um, I could easily sell this anywhere between, I get 40 or 50 bucks um, any day of the week. They're just, it's, it's just a very high class brand. Uh, so that's the two scotch and sodas there. After that, picked up Foot Joy. Now this is a Foot Joy polo. This is actually my second Foot Joy. I'm pick, yeah, I've picked up a Foot Joy before, which I have sold for decent money. This one here, you've got the Foot Joy logo there, the frog with the, um, with the sponge. I'm pretty sure this is a company style shirt. You've got the Bulls uh, Raw Toy, uh, toy Mackay. Uh, but just with that little logo there being a Foot Joy shirt, I paid, I think, five bucks, four bucks for this one. I think she said four bucks, she gave it to me. Uh, but I should be able to get anywhere between 35, 40 bucks for this polo, because it is a quite, it's a nice feeling polo too, uh, especially for golfing and whatnot. After that, um, I'll leave that one last. You guys would have seen in the video, picked up this super dry. Uh, this is vintage super dry. Now it's not vintage, so to speak, it's just because that's what it says here. Um, <laughs> I just, Dragon Ball Z just fell down. Um, this shirt here, it's in an absolutely fantastic condition, made in Turkey. Um, I'll have to do a little bit more comps because it is pretty much like it's only been worn a couple of times. I could possibly sell this for about 40 bucks uh, any day of the week. Super Dry is, a, is another fantastic brand to pick up. Um, after that one there, just a staple brand that I always look for, Kathmandu. Uh, Kathmandu is a fantastic seller. Anywhere between 35, 40 bucks I can get for these shirts any day of the week. Uh, this is another nice feeling shirt, some basic plaid. Um, sort of like an army green uh, style shirt. Now those of you who don't know, Catherine Do recently bought out Rip Curl um, as well, so I don't know what that will do to the Rip Curl brand, um, but a lot of uh, vintage Rip Curl stuff, I don't know, might possibly sell for a higher price. Um, I'm just not sure, uh, but I've got to keep an eye out because a well-known brand like Kathmandu to buy out another company like another Australian company like that, uh, obviously will do some big things for that company. Now, I also picked up an RM Williams shirt. Like, this is insane. Like, the amount of stuff that I found at this one shirt, uh, off shop. I haven't been there in a very long time, so it probably explains a lot. Um, but, you know, it, it, was, it was, I was having a field day, to be honest. It was fantastic to go to and just, you know, one item, one item, one item, and just pull them off the shelf. This is a large, regular fit, basic RM Williams shirt. Those of you who don't know, RM Williams is a great popular brand here in Australia. Um, and it sells for some serious money. Now the shirt's not as not as much as the jeans, um, and not as much as the boots, uh, but they still sell for some good money. So definitely be on the lookout. Now the last item that I picked up at this op shop is a basic shirt. Now I swear to God, this shirt's been I don't know. I've seen it somewhere before, but I saw DNG, and um, you know thanks to the reselling community. I used to walk past D&G all the time and thought nothing of it. I thought, what is this? What is it? A dog brand? Like, what does dog stand for? Um, that was my ignorance. Uh, little did I know this is Dolce & Cabana. Um, and now this looks like a basic black shirt, but you've got this sort of like fern um, on the side. You've got the Dolce & Cabana on the, on the side there, made in Italy. You've got all the appropriate tags, um, and it's stitched down below as well. So uh, as far as comps go, this shirt should sell for a decent price. I've just got to do a little bit more research and find out exactly the style and everything of this Dolce & Gabbana shirt here. But that's it guys. That was my weekend. It felt good to go out uh, garage selling and going out op shopping again. Um, I have missed it. Now, I know some of you guys who have watched my videos religiously have missed me going out and going out garage selling and op shopping. Um, there will be a lot more of these videos every single week of getting back into that, that pattern. Uh, so I thank you for your patience as well. If you like this video and you, uh, you know, like the finds, if you if you're, thought this was absolutely sick, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe as well uh, because, you know, I do weekly videos. If you have any questions um, in regards to reselling, um, or anything in general, uh, please don't hesitate to message me on Instagram or Facebook. 
Uh, the links will be down in the, the bio below. Also, if you have any questions regarding reselling that you would like me to do a live on, because remember now that I'm over a thousand subscribers, I can do lives off my phones. Um, and my previous videos have been live videos. So if you have any questions you'd like to uh, for me to answer because I find it easier to answer uh, through a live and talking about it, please comment down below, but also shoot me a message on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, so thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. Uh, this was a quick uh, video. I know this probably dragged out a bit, so if you made it this far, uh, well done. <laughs> but, you know, thank you again, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.